Three ways to program view golf and polo all keys lost with auto IM608 slash IM508. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel that's become a trusted pit stop for thousands of automotive enthusiasts, techs, and gearheads alike. Babaji Motors, your one stop shop for everything car diagnostics and key programming. Before we dive deep into today's intense and highly requested tutorial, let me ask you something important. Have you subscribed yet? Seriously, around 80% of viewers keep watching but forget to hit that little red button. If you've ever found value, learned something new, or saved time with our videos, do us a solid. Smash that subscribe button, ring the bell, and stick around till the end. Let's set a new record together. 1,000 likes and 100 comments in the next 24 hours. Think we can do it? I know we can, but only with your help. Now buckle up, because today we're diving into a must-know topic for anyone dealing with VWs. How to program all keys lost on VW Golf or Polo 2010-2014 to models using the Auto IM508S or IM608. This is not just theory. We're going hands-on with three powerful and practical methods that'll save your day when all keys are gone. Whether you're a DIY enthusiast, a professional locksmith, or just someone stuck with no key and a silent VW. This guide could be your golden ticket. And as always, this video is strictly for educational purposes. All procedures shown here are to inform and assist techs and hobbyists, and we respect all trademark holders. Make sure you're compliant with your local laws and vehicle manufacturer's guidelines. Method one, all keys lost, service mode via Auto G Box. All right. The first method is service mode, all keys lost, and let me tell you, it's often the cleanest route if you've got access to Auto G-Box. But be warned, it's also a bit technical. So let's walk through it like a pro. Step 1, and this is non-negotiable, remove the instrument cluster. That's where your immobilizer data lives. Gently disconnect the wiring harness, because trust me, you don't want to rip or damage anything in the process. Once it's out, the real fun begins. Next, you'll read the EEPROM data. This is the core of everything. Open your IM508 or IM608. Navigate through manual selection, Europe, VW Polo, 2010 to 2014, and select control unit, immobilizer, continental, can ends NEC plus 24C32. Then choose enter service mode with all keys lost, G-Box. Now follow the wiring diagram carefully. Connect your DB16 cable for the cluster to the G-Box. Plug the OBDI female port of the G-Box into your device and power it all up with 12V on the DC terminal. Once everything's properly connected, your tool will automatically recognize the cluster type, like 4 motor speaker, version 1. Confirm, and it'll proceed to read and extract the EEPROM data, which includes the golden keys to this entire process, the PIN code and CS code. Now here's where it gets real satisfying, generating a dealer key. Select the make dealer key function, pop a blank key into the programmer, and input the CS code pulled from the EEPROM. If done right, your tool will proudly announce. Dealer key generated successfully. Now you'll reinstall the instrument cluster, reconnect all wiring, and insert your freshly minted key. In many cases, the immobilizer recognizes it instantly. If not, a quick manual key learning via the auto tool will do the trick. If that method doesn't work for you, don't worry. We've got two more options you'll definitely want to know. But before we go any further, let me pause here and challenge you again. If you're still watching, what's stopping you from subscribing right now? Be honest. Drop a comment and let me know. Also, I want to know your favorite method of programming keys. Have you tried service mode? EEPROM? Bench work? Comment below and tell us what's worked or failed for you. Let's build a helpful thread for others. And don't forget, 1,000 likes, 100 comments. We're counting on you. Method two, EEPROM programming, all keys lost. Now let's say service mode isn't your vibe, or maybe the G-Box just isn't available. That's where EEPROM mode steps up. This one starts with a bit of old school teardown. Remove and carefully open the instrument cluster and identify the 24C32 chip. Yes, the actual EEPROM chip that holds your MO data. Now, connect it to the XP400 Pro programmer using an EEPROM clip adapter. 
in your auto tool. Again, navigate to the VW Polo NEC 24C32 selection. Then choose All Keys Lost via Dump and follow the steps methodically. Back up the ABS code. This is crucial. You'll need it again later. Read the EEPROM data using your XP 400 Pro. Write EEPROM back via Programmer and then again via OBD. Read IMMO data, make dealer key, learn key, and finally, recover your ABS code. Each of these steps is vital. Don't skip. EEPROM programming is all about patience and precision. But once completed, you'll have a fully functional new key and one satisfied customer or yourself. Method 3. Bench key programming using Godiag GT110. If you're a fan of working on the bench, away from the car, this method is for you. This one's all about bench key learning using the Godiag GT110 test platform. Here's how it goes. 1. Set up the Godiag GT110. Connect it to the VW Polo instrument cluster, 2009 to 2014 compatible and plug in a 12E power source to simulate vehicle power. Two, hit the red ignition button on the GT110. That brings the dashboard to life and places it into diagnostic mode. Three, on your auto IM508 or IM608, navigate the same path as before and select Immobilizer, NEC 24C32. Four, with the EEPROM dump already done, enter the PIN and CS codes. No codes? No worries, you can still extract them from the cluster if needed. 5. Insert a blank transponder chip into the GT110's key slot. Choose Key Learning and wait 30 seconds. 6. The system will complete the key learning and confirm with a simple but magical message. Key Learning completed. You've now got a new working key ready to fire up that VW once the cluster goes back in. This method is excellent for staying off your back in the garage and avoiding repetitive disassembly. So what do I think about all three methods? Honestly, each has its place. If you got full tools and want speed, go for service mode. If you love precision and control, EEPROM is the path. Want to work smarter, not harder? Bench key programming keeps things tidy and efficient. But now it's your turn. Which method would you trust most if all keys were lost? Would you brave the EEPROM? or lean on the mighty G-Box. Comment down below with your experiences and your favorite approach. We want to hear your stories and build this into the most helpful video out there. And while you're at it, share this video with your locksmith or tech buddies, send it to a VW owner, or post it in your favorite forum. Let's get this info out there. It could save someone hours of frustration and a few hundred bucks. All right, legends, if you made it to the end, you're the real MVP. One last favor. Hit that like button harder than ever, drop your thoughts below, and if you found even one tip helpful, please subscribe now. It's free, but it fuels the channel to bring more high-quality, honest content straight to your screen. Let's crush that 1,000 like and 100 comment goal. I'm counting on you. Until next time, keep diagnosing like a boss and never stop learning. Catch you in the next one. Bob G Motors, signing off.